In many genres of electronic music, you will find chords which have got a lot of color in them. And by color, I mean suspensions and different types of chord extensions. So we're adding notes to basic chords to make them sound meatier or make them sound as though they've got more color. Now, I'm gonna show you in this video how you can easily do that inside of Cubase using the chord track. First of all, you need to make sure that you've added a chord track to your project. And then it's a matter of getting the pencil tool and entering chords. I'm entering two chords per bar in the first two bars and I've got a cycle set up so they're just going to loop over and over again. Now I can double click on one and get the chord editor or I can go across to the chord assistant tab and now I can find some very simple chords. For example, F which is chord 4 of C major and you can see C's one up there. F, G, C, F. So 4, 5, 1, 4. They're the numbers of the chord in a C major scale. You can use the cursor keys on your computer keypad to go in between chord to chord. Now I've gone back over to the editor and it's showing me that my first chord's F and this is where I can start to add some color and also some extra notes to my chord, like a seventh. As I go down here, I can get some suspended chords and then augmented and diminished chords, which you don't find a lot of in contemporary electronic music. Because it's the first chord of my song, I'm sticking with a very straight major chord. And there's a seventh chord, which doesn't sound right to me. But if I move down to the F major seven, then to me it sounds like it needs to go somewhere. I could add a ninth. And what this is doing is if you count up from F, it's adding the seventh note and the ninth note into the chord. Now I've used my cursor keys to move across to G. And it's a matter of trying some sus scores to see if I like it. I'm moving across to the C, and again I'm adding a C sus 2. I'm just using the cursor keys to go backwards and forwards and hear that transition. Now what I've done is use the final column and I brought that into play. And that is the bass note of my chord. So that chord is C over a bass note of E. So that's given it an extra tone again. And now it's a matter of finding something for my last chord and listening to it. So that already sounds very different to the very basic chord progression we had before we added any color. Now that I've gone to town, I might decide to simplify it a little bit. So there's no rules on how far you go. I guess it's just a matter of not using too much and really cluttering up your chords with too much color. Once I'm happy with my chord progression, I can start to build on the production. So for example, I could use different textures, something like a pad, for example, and combine these chords with a pad sound. The next thing I can do is change the timing for more interest so it's not so robotic and sitting on the bar. And I can also add more notes. So if you're struggling to come up with chords which sound colorful or chords that maybe are creating some suspense and then some release, then the chord track is the perfect place to go. And of course, you can use the chord assistant and the chord editor together to find the chords and add the color. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. Please give us the thumbs up if you dig what you've seen and also subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.